kind of for your own edification, the rules are what altitudes do you have to fly at? We're heading in an eastern direction right now. I don't know. I don't know those rules. Alright, uh, it's it's odd thousands plus five hundred if you're VFR. Okay, odd thousands, so it'd be Three, five, seven thousand plus five hundred. If you're BFR. BFR, okay. And if you're IFR, then it's you just knock off the five hundred. It's just the odd, okay. Uh, then east, uh, westerly, it's even thousands, okay. Okay, so headed east. And what's west? Uh, well, if you're if you're three thousand AGL or less, it doesn't matter. No, no, no. I'm okay. just trying to get your rules. The, okay. the, and my rules. <laughs> West is odd plus 500, or is it just east? East is odd plus 500. Okay. West is even plus 500. What that does is, is if it gets two airplanes coming at each other, it Should gives have... them a thousand feet of separation. Oh, it's northwest. Is it westerly? Is northwest? It's still even. What if I'm dead north? If you're dead north, okay, at zero degrees, it's it's uh, zero to to. 179, I believe. Somebody's going to pick me on that, but I'm going by memory. It, that, that whole segment may not. And then from 180 to 359 is even. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, it's not due east or due west. It's anything heading easterly or anything heading westerly. Alright. Alright, so... That's enough to learn <laughs> <laughs> That's enough learning today? Yeah. Yeah. So what we can do, they're my documents. If our chart legends, it's, it's zero to 179 degrees. So you were right. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was right. <laughs> so you were right. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was right. So you were right. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was right. Well, I guess I should say the reason that you were doing my little lessons is because I have said, I guess if I say it out loud, I might have to do it. I could work on some of the ground school because you still have your um, ground school that you did through um, Sporties. Sporties. Yeah. And it's a little bit, well, it's a couple of years old, three years old. Oh, they, it's updated. Oh, okay. But anyway, um, I could go through and at least maybe increase my knowledge. Well, and it helps just to have you be able to say, oh, Ron, you know, if you see something a little odd or a little off, how your airplane? Oh, I'm not going to... Okay. We've got it all trimmed out. We're holding 3,500 feet. Know yeah, no autopilot. Everything's pretty steady. All right. Uh, Mike, go ahead and... Uh, can you touch the rudder pedals at all? Oh, I got junk in my lap. Get this stuff out of my lap. All right, let me get the junk out of your lap. Okay, all right. And I'm gonna switch you over so that you're seeing what you need to be seeing, right? All right. So we're at 3540, we're, we got about 150 foot climb. So all we need to do to arrest that just a little bit is just a barely a nose down on the trim. All right, go ahead and put your hand back on the wheel because you're turning. Go ahead okay. and level us out. Uh, uh, wrong way. Level us out the other way. I level us out the other way. All right. No, no need to push forward or down once you're trimmed out. Just, just matter of fact, you should just have one hand very loosely on the yoke. All right. Go ahead and level us out. Get our two trapezoids lined up there. I can't. Uh, how do you get it just to stay? Le I mean, um. Go ahead and turn it level. No, I just was trying to do it. All at a time. Yeah, just, all right, so now now, now your wing's level. I'm going to lean you out just a hair. Like I said, just relax on the yoke. There's no need to, uh, you know, pull back or push forward. Just, just a nice, easy relax. All right, so we got good wing's level there. Oh, the trap, the, I call them triangles. I don't know why you're calling them. Uh, well, yeah, the triangles, the pyramids. I, I failed geometry. Geometry, right? Uh, I, I don't know. I swear I'm not pushing anything, but I keep seeing our 
Now, we'll just, just, just give it a little nudge until they line up. All right, so let's go ahead and turn left. You, now, go ahead and put your feet on the rudder pedals. Lightly. Now, that's going to keep you coordinated, so start your turn to the left. And I'm going to be with you, but very lightly. Go ahead. Now, am I turning with the yoke or am I turning with the rudder? Both at the same time. Turn the uh, yoke. There you go. And all right rudder? I mean left rudder? Uh, well, no, because right now you're, you're coordinated. Everything's looking good. Okay. So, but yeah, you'll initiate a little bit of left rudder on there. I'll keep us out of the MOA there. Uh, well, you know, I can't watch too many things at once. Yeah, well, that's what flying's all about. Keep our turn going. We're just going to uh, go ahead and go. Keep going. So how many degrees of a turn can you do in this plane? Oh, you can do quite a bit. Um, that's just a standard rate turn. That's an easy turn. Usually you'll turn over here to the 30 degree. Okay. You tend to descend, right? So you, 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 you just, Yeah, you just want to just pull back just a touch and a turn because what it is is the wing that's tilted down. Not getting lift. It's not uh, getting perfect. It's not getting as much lift. Okay, if I want to straighten out now, do I? Yeah, just go ahead and roll out. All right. Oh. Man, there's too many things to watch. I, yeah, I know it. <laughs> so when you turn, the, the steeper your turn, the more degrees that you have in the turn, you're just going to have to put a little more back pressure. Back pressure on it. Okay. okay. But when we're trimmed out right, once you level out and then release that pressure, that back pressure, you should even on out a little bit. Now, it might be a hair bit off. Um, and then you can just reset the trim. Yeah, there is a lot of things to look at, isn't there? Yeah, you can't even look outside because you're looking at everything else. Now, the thing of it is, is try not to look inside because if you, if you look at your horizon, you should be able to tell if you're level. You should be able to tell if you're climbing or descending. Yeah. So all you should really be doing to the instruments is just clean. Yeah. No, it shouldn't should be focused. You, you, you tend to get, and, and I was the same way, you tend to get fixated on the instruments when you're flying VFR. And then when you're learning to fly IFR, you got to learn to stay fixated on the instruments. So so it's just two different things. This is kind of fun just sitting here looking out the window. I just play with frequencies now. The steeper your turn, the more back pressure you need. But no, you're looking good. That's a beautiful turn, baby. Then as you're rolling out level, kind of ease off that back pressure. Well, that was a little drastic there, but... Okay, you kind of see how when you turn, it's kind of a, it, it's really a fluid motion you got to do. It's like a dance almost. You're turning. You can't dance. I can't dance. That's the reason why it took me so long to learn to fly. I can't dance. I got no rhythm. So, but you do. That's the reason why you do better on your first turns than I ever did. This is unbelievable. Now watch. Now watch. You get the rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is out there. Much more is out there. This is the kind of music that tells me to go out there and free somebody. All right, one more turn. I want to go back around. Well, I guess I need to turn back that way again, but we'll try that one, huh? All right, yeah, you had to, have you done a turn to the left? I don't think you have. have yeah, you? I did. Okay. Go choo choo train down there. Alright, this is when we need a camera on the instruments because that was pretty good right there. I, well, you should have said something. I would have, I would have put it on there real quick. Oh, well, we never know if that's going to work out or not. Oh, so you only want to film if you're doing a great job. And that's right, because I don't have editing right. You're the one on the editing, so, you know, you could very well put, show me in a poor light. I would never show you in a poor light. Okay, we're going to try one more turn, and then, then I'm done. I'm going to try to be just a little more aggressive here. All right, well, hold on. I pull back on the yoke just I, I am. I am. I'm good on it. 
hadn't lost but about 60 feet. There you go, looking good, baby. But All right, you ready? My airplane? Your airplane. Okay. You did good. I think so. My brain, you, I've got too much information in there. Now you know what they talk about, task saturation, right? <laughs> All right, it's your airplane. All right, Ron, I'm flying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the visibility is great. Huh? It is, it is. And there's not a ton of traffic. Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. We're here at St. Landry's Parish Airport, and we're visiting Randall, who is a YouTuber follower of us on Par for the Course, who reached out to us and said, hey, if we're ever in the area, drop in. And we did, and we're gonna probably get some good boudin today. Yeah, is that correct. what we're looking that's for? That's what we go get. Yeah, and so, Randall, how long you been flying now? Uh, since 1982. Oh, okay, and we're gonna go look at a little 150 he picked up uh, in North Carolina and check it out. And we're going to walk around town, kind of check out the town a little bit. And then we're going to get us some good food because it's all about the food. That's it. <laughs> Randall, it's good to meet you, brother. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Take care. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, you know what? The most important thing is that's my signature on a shirt. That's the first time that it's happened. Okay, okay. But even more important than that <laughs> is par for the course mug. I got stickers and business cards. He has, he has chocolate chip cookies homemade wait, no, wait, that are in. I am going to go make cookies. I'll be right back. <laughs> Ready? I can be. Your airplane. My airplane. How many hours you got? <laughs> One. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're we're just on the front end of this whole thing. And now, Katie, how much have you flown? Um. <laughs> <laughs> just your young eagle flight. Yeah. You actually controlled the plane, right? I just thought you like to go up and down. I don't have enough hours to figure it all out yet. But I think you're doing great, personally. <laughs> I know, I see. I mean, you only got 1.2 hours now, right? <laughs> Put your hands on the yoke. I'll be right along with you, so don't get nervous. Okay? You good? Yeah. All right, it is your airplane. I'm just going to keep you kind of slow. We're just going 120 knots. Okay. All right. Just nudge it along. Look at that. You got a nice, good, standard rate turn going. Look at that. You're not, that is dead black right there. You're not climbing or descending. Now, your dad climbed a whole lot and he descended a lot. <laughs> You're doing it nice and level there. So. I was looking for smooth air. <laughs> dead center in the middle now. I, I mean, that thing's black. It's not showing plus or minus. You did better than me, Ron. Uh, I, am I am not going to touch that. <laughs> All righty, my airplane now. We're on final. Good job, Katie. <laughs> High five. Bang, you did real good. <laughs> better than that. Woohoo! Woo we are headed out to the plane. This is Carl, and back there, you got your Carl, Melissa, Rosalie, Hi. Santos Chronicles. They are here for just a bit. They're going to check out our plane and hopefully, maybe go up. That I is don't amazing. Know. All right, Carl. Put your hands on the yoke, just nice and light. I just want you to follow me along for a minute until you get the feel for it. Okay. All right. We're just going to. Bank slightly right. See how it's banking? Okay, now bank slightly left. A little more. All right, a little more. There you go. Smooth, smooth uh, uh, inputs is what we want. All right, now I want you to get us perfectly level by looking outside the airplane. 
Look at the horizon. All right, your airplane. All right, it's all you, man, hands off. Man, this is scary. No, what you want to do is do nothing drastic. Just, just nice, smooth, easy movements. And for when you're flying like this, is there like a flight path uh, that you're supposed to go to, or is it like it's well, a wild, wild, wild west? As just as long as people, you let people know where you you're, uh, are. A little of both. Okay, right now we're at 3,600 feet. Okay. Uh, the uh, the ground elevation is 600 feet. So as long as you're 3,000 feet or less above the ground, you can go anywhere you want. To. Right. So if you're above 3,000, if you're VFR, you want to go, if you're heading in the easterly direction, you go odd numbers plus 500. If you're going westerly, you go even numbers plus 500. All right, let's kind of bank to the left here a little bit. All right, and so so that way there's a thousand feet of separation between the traffic. We're just going to make a nice little easy turn. We're head back toward the airport. Oh, you, man. Crazy. Um, How you like it, man? Like it. You're going to learn to fly now, ain't you? I don't know. Illinois Mountain Traffic, your tractor pull on there. I'll let you uh, have your control. My, my airplane? Yep, your airplane. I thought I was just coming here to say hello, give a high five, and uh, you were doing your thing. I didn't know I was being in a cockpit hanging out with you. Oh, man, no. I, I wanted you to have this experience. All right, I want you to lightly put your hands on the controls. Okay. Okay. I want you to just kind of follow me. Don't push any buttons, okay? All right. Now, we're going to turn to the left a little bit. Here, what I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to switch this over to your screen. Okay. You see which direction we're going to go here? Okay. okay. I want you to see this little pointer right there? Yeah. I'm going to put it to due west right there. Okay? So I want you to very easily turn us to due west. Okay? It just takes, you can't reach the rudder pedal, so I'll do the rudder pedals, okay? Alright? So now, you're flying the plane, I'm not touching a thing. Alright, right before we get to west there, I need you to kind of start leveling out a little bit. Alright? Alright, now, see we're almost coming to west, so you want to start leveling it out. Go to the right just a little bit. Oh, hands, you got it. I'm going to call him back and take a nap, okay? You got this, right? No, I don't. <laughs> and take the yoke, and I want you to do is try to keep you. It's your airplane now. Okay. I, I got the rudder pedals. Okay. okay. See how we're banking? I want you to fly us level. So, uh, so just a little bit of, yeah, see, look at the horizon. Okay, look at our dash in relationship to the horizon. So you want to just bank slightly to the left and then maintain whatever pressure it takes to keep us level. Okay, okay. just a touch more bank to the left. Okay. But the horizon is pretty level now, right? It looks pretty level. And I just maintain that horizon? And just kind of maintain that horizon. That's really all you're doing. Okay, see that's a nice 30 degree bank, right? Yeah. Right now, I'm going to let you do it by yourself. You do the same thing going to the left. I mean, I bank 30 degrees to the left? To the left. Everything is just real smooth inputs. All right. Uh, there's 30 left. That looks good. All right, level us back out. Okay. Oh, this is wild. <laughs> Oh man, this is wild. Okay, I think I'm not even halfway yet. It feels bumpy. Am I doing okay? Hey, you're doing fine. Okay, good. Oh, God. Boy, my heart is, uh, gonna beat here. I'm maintaining that 30. Uh, slowly. Right now, you're gonna want to anticipate that north. You don't wait till you get to it before you level out. Right. About 10 degrees before you get there, you just want to, you know, you can kind of ease it back. You can just keep going left a little bit more. Hold on, hold on. Okay. We go. We're we're looking good there. Okay. All right. And off to our left, we're getting ready to pass right over an airport. Oh God. 
No. Oh, okay. okay. This is the airport right here. This okay. is uh, El Dorado Airport. Okay. Am I doing okay? Uh, that's okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're well above their airspace. Anybody okay. taking off? We're flying off and off a little bit. Uh, just a little bit. Like I said, you don't get fixated on the gauges because you're flying VFR. One of the easiest ways to do that is pick some reference way out there. Okay. And just when you're due north, just say, okay, I'm going to fly toward that point I see. Okay. Or that road or that white spot in the, in the ground. Okay. That was so cool. Thank you so much. Seriously, that was like the coolest thing I've ever done. So cool. This is the most quiet I've ever had since. I've had the kids. Oh. <laughs> you might decide you like this flying bit, huh? I think so, as long as I can do it without them. <laughs> All right. I want you to put your hands lightly on the yoke. We've got a plane out here. He's about two miles away, so we can just kind of look out after him a little bit. Let's just kind of veer off that way some. All right. So, you're an airplane. You're flying. <laughs> Ronnie, I have way too much faith in me. I'm a little <laughs> So I should be going a little left, lightly? Uh, no, a little bit, no. See, see, we're tilted. Look at the horizon, okay. okay? So what you want to do is keep this dash level with the horizon. It's as simple as that. There ain't nothing to it. So let's bank a little left, just slightly left. I'll help you just a touch. I should probably come back a little bit to the right. Oh, not yet. We're, we're kind of moving over a little bit. I'm giving some space for that plane, okay? Now, let wings level. So just kind of ease it back to the right, and see, see the horizon, right? That's your reference. You're flying. I'm not, I'm not touching anything. See how easy it is to fly? Two guys. <laughs> Piece of cake, ain't it? I could get used to this lifestyle. We're going to enter what we call the left downwind. We're going to be on the left side of the runway, because we're going to go and turn around and come back to the north, OK? Because the wind is coming from the north, we want to land into the wind. So if the runway is on our left side, that's a left downwind, and a left base, and then final. So here we go. We're going to start descending here. Jabbar, traffic skyline eight zero. I think we're turning a left base three six. Full stop, Jabbar. Now I'm going to put in twenty degrees of flaps, and that's going to slow us down some more. Jabbar, traffic skyline eight zero. Papa Echo, base to final three six. Full stop, Jabbar. See, those lights are too white and too red, so I'm on the right glide slope, right? Come right here. If they're three red and one white, I'm a little bit low, and if they're uh, three white and one red, I'm a little bit high. Charlie, 16 to the west, inbound for runway 36, departure traffic. Now it doesn't matter, because I'm coming in for a landing if they start turning red, because i got to start coming down, right? I'd go somehow, right? Oh. All right, Jabbar, traffic, Skyline Angel, Pop Echo, short final, 3-6, full stop, Jabbar. That's what we call a greaser. Ah, I was going to say, Ron, that was good landing. They're the most commercial flights I've been on. I'll let you take the controls. So whatever you're comfortable with, left or right hand, I, would, I put it like right here. See how I'm kind of holding it? That way you can put like a little pressure with your thumb if you need a little down pressure. Here's what you need to do. Look at the horizon, okay? Find the spot on the dash on the horizon that looks probably about three or four fingers above the dash. You see the horizon? That's wings level, okay? What I want you to do is put your feet on the rudder pedals, just slightly, and I want you to see what yaw means, all right? Just push one of the rudder pedals and push the other one. You're going to see it's kind of do that. See how that goes off? Do this, do it the other way. Give it a little more. Keep going, keep going. So go ahead and turn us to the left. You, it's your airplane. There you go, perfect. Let me know when you're ready to take controls. Okay. All right. 
you can just lightly put your feet on the rudder pedals and then uh, go ahead and take the yoke. I want you to turn with rudder pedal input and the yoke and don't make us more than about the second tick mark right here. I want you to see what it feels like. Don't get fixated on it. So go ahead, bank us left and just a little bit of left rudder and foot. There you go, nice and smooth, perfect. Keep going. And you're gonna need a little back pressure because one of the wings loses lift in a turn, right? See how we're going about 200 feet? So you just wanna just, I mean, just lightly pull back on it. And then as we get, and then about five or 10 degrees before we hit due east, start rolling out of the turn or you're gonna overshoot the turn, okay? All right, start rolling out. See where you're almost due east there. Perfect, perfect. I mean, you're doing about like Avery. I mean, I'm, I'm hands off, so. Taxi so far. All right, you ready to fly? How did get yourself comfortable? It's your airplane. My flight. Oh, for uh, those who may not know, this is Preston. He's been a lifelong follower of ours on YouTube, and I've uh, been a pilot for many years. Use that road for your saddle fork. Perfect. Searman traffic. Skyline Angel Pompeco is seven to the northwest, entering the left downwind three five full stop. Searman. Down in the bump. Yeah. They're always down here at TPA, aren't they? All right, my airplane. Okay, your airplane. All right, so what I want you to do here, first thing I want you to get a feel for are the rudder pedals, all right? Just lightly put your feet on the rudder pedals. Don't worry about the yoke right now. What was the brake again? It's the top, you kind of have to okay. rotate it. So both of them just kind of on the rudder pedals. All right, now to fly coordinated, you see this right here? You need to make that stand here. Let me switch this over just so you can kind of see. You need to keep that trapezoid. So here, I'm gonna demonstrate. See how we're yawing? That's uncoordinated. So what you wanna to try to do is keep that coordinated as much as you can. So if, that, if this little ball or that you know little flat piece is this way, you add a little bit of left rudder. If it's that way, you add just a touch of right rudder. Okay. So I'm gonna get off the rudder pedals and I want you to play with that and just kind of see what you got. Yeah, it makes it do this. Yeah, so that's uncoordinated. That's not a very comfortable flight. People in the back feel it worse, okay? They, they'll actually get sick. <laughs> Your airplane, hands on the yoke and feet on the rudder pedals. All right, so bank me to the left. Just do me a turn to the left and keep, keep us coordinated. All right, that looks good. Straight now, you have to kind of go back a little bit straight now. A little left rudder, there you go. Now you're flying straight and level. Now give me one to the right. Where are you going? Uh, not really, no. It helps if you know where you're going. Just a nice, gradual, coordinated, easy turn, man. You're doing perfect. You keep it coordinated. Yeah, this is an experience like no other. A lot of people get to do this. Well, I'm happy to be one to let you do it. Yeah. Thank you. I usually say your fist is about the distance from the top of the pad to the horizon, give or take, you know, or three fingers, whatever you kind of see. So just kind of conceptually visualize that. And you won't even have to look at the instruments. You just look at the horizon. All right. All right, so let's... Uh, going to put in steerman traffic, or steerman as a waypoint here, show you how we navigate. All right, see this little line right there? That's what you got to line up to to get us going back towards steerman. Okay. You're in right though. A little purple right. Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, so we're kind of low right. All right, and then we're going to start rolling out here in a second. We want to follow that line. All right. 
All right, so slowly start rolling us out here, start wings level. Just bring it on back. Bring us on back, a little more, line us up. All right, there we go, now we're wings level. And looky there. Oh my goodness. That, a little better. And like I said, it's it's like uh, getting on an uh, entrance ramp to the highway. You don't jerk and turn 90 degrees. You just kind of merge in. So that's what I want you to do is you just kind of merge into that line. We have an eight knot headwind you can see right here. This thing gives us a lot of information. Yeah. All these, these are radio towers or power oh, antennas. Cool. Okay, and on this, see, you can see them. Tell you how high they are. Oh, okay. that's and this is all above sea level. So we're at... 2,600 feet above sea level. Uh -huh. So this is 1,600 feet above sea level. So we got about 1,000 feet clearance over that tower. So we're oh, fine. Okay. So that's how you read these VFR charts. All right. Take the controls. Just, just the light handle. That's all you need. One hand is really all you need. Okay. It's just like driving a car. Okay. Um, I've got us about trimmed out here. Okay. So, to bank, you just give it a little light pressure here, uh, and we'll, we'll bank, but then you gotta use the rudder pedals to keep that kind of centered, right? Uh, uh, I'll do the rudder pedals for now, okay? And they kind of get you going here. Um, we can, um, this did not end up being a nice day for flying. Okay these clouds would burn off a little bit before now. Uh -huh. Be the university there in front of us. Yeah. It's I-20 coming up on top of it. Uh -huh. Rust and traffic skyline 80 pop the echo is forward to the east, going across midfield and a left downwind uh, for one eight full stop rusting. That's fine. I mean, I got to feel for it, kind of. It... Put your hands on the yoke, what's comfortable. Feet off the pedals for now, right? Okay. So what I want you to do is let's bank to the left. I want you to just kind of get a feel for it. I got us pretty much straight and level right here. See on the horizon about how far the horizon is? Okay, so if you do this, well that's left, right? You can see that. Uh -huh. The same thing going to the right and see that. So that's just a nice shallow bank. You don't need anything. So kind of head us, point us out that way a little bit toward the left. Doesn't take much, does it? No, it doesn't. See, we're going, you know, 100, 40 knots, so about 150 miles an hour. So if you think about it like this, if you're going 150 miles an hour in the car, are you going to jerk on the wheel? No. You're going to do a nice, controlled, easy. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then, so it's your airplane, you've got it. Still going to the left correctly? Yeah. You're doing good. There's Bastrop out there, right? I, did you want Buzz Bastrop? Can. If you want to. You're flying, I ain't doing nothing. There you go, nice and easy. So you got about a 10 degree bank. Uh -huh. That's 10, that's 20, that's 30. It's a nice, smooth, easy bank. Just kind of pick you out a spot, you know, a landmark somewhere, and just head straight to it. Okay. You're doing good. Thank you. I believe that's by Ubonity. So yeah, that's going to be by Ubonity. There's Marouge. They have ice cream in Marouge. Yeah, we used to ride our motorcycles up to Marouge to eat ice cream. Country cream. So you said yep. to do that uniform turning. Down with the oh, we're going to stay about 3,500 now. See those four white lights at the end of the runway? That gives us our glide slope. So four white means we're a little bit high. We want to see two red and two white. Just one got red just then, right? All right. One mile five. Rust in traffic. Skyline eight zero pop echo short final one eight. Full stop rust. Now they're two white, two red. All right, that means we're on a three degree glide slope coming in. The way looks short now, don't it? It does. Still wearing my hat, my nice new hat. No.
I want to tell y'all thank y'all for watching. Uh, Ron and Jan, they're good folks. I enjoyed the visit. They're very hospitable. It's a big word. But like you, if you watch them on, uh, on YouTube, if you watch their videos, they do like to eat. And uh, that is not a front. That is the truth. They love to eat. And I don't see how Janet stays slim as she does as much as she eats. She eats as much as I do. And... Uh, but she made those cookies, and I'll tell you, they were like small pancakes. And they were fine, those chocolate chip cookies. But uh, I just want to say a thanks again to, to Par for the Course, Ron and Janice. I appreciate the, the visit, the food, and uh, look forward to getting to sit down and share a meal together again sometime before too long.